Hey, it's uh, Monday morning, October 17th, 2022. So I worked a little bit over the weekend uh, getting the rest of the wood off of the frame. I got some, uh, still got to chop it up, but be some nice firewood there for my garage. The rest is all in barrels under this heap. I'll be putting all that away in the shed eventually here. You can see the hoist unit that's in there. So this is a uh, scissor lift. Came out in the 40s for the uh, earlier dump trucks. It was the first hydraulic units. Before this, you would have had a big old gear system that would have lifted the uh, body. So the PTO turns this shaft. This is the pump, the valve body the piston with the oil. The oil moves from one side to the other depending on whether it's coming up or down so as you move your lever it takes the oil from the back of the piston moves it to the front which raises this raising your body and uh, it's an old system some people turn these into uh, log splitters they make really good log splitters you can actually run this off of like an 8 horsepower motor and blow huge logs apart so I advertised it on Marketplace. I'm not going to cut it out just yet. I'm going to wait. If people want to see it operate before they buy it, then uh, I'll have it out. Just got this covered up for now. I still think I'm going to shorten this frame. I don't know. I, I Like I said, I change my mind like every 25 minutes, so... Not much has happened over here. I still haven't even picked up pallets yet. Going out to the junkyard tomorrow. I uh, got to pick up some chrome for the front of the uh, truck, the uh, van truck. I pulled it out this morning early. I'm going to clean the garage because it's such a big sty. So here's where I am. The roof is complete. Paint just needs to be cleared. But I've thinking I'm making some changes and the change is going to be that I'm going to bring the gray down to this line so it'll follow this line and then come around like this so everything below here will be white everything above this will be gray uh, working on the tailgate again and finally getting some uh, this tailgate was full of uh, rust once I pulled that GMC section off it was all pitted so I built it up sanded it built it up sanded it with the red oxide to try to fill in all the pitting and I'm getting close and I've decided I'm gonna do a simulated wood this part is gonna when I'm done painting it is gonna look like driftwood with the gray in it and I'll put what I'll do is I'll brush on the brown and leave the uh, to make it simulated green I mean even simulate a couple of knots in it but that's the plan on that to uh, create a um, wood grain look we gave up on the lights and I also still need to fabricate the uh, <clears throat> louvers in this area here. I've decided that I'm going to do the louvers just in this area. Leave this like it is, but do louvers in here. Three louvers. I haven't fabricated them yet. I got to work on it. All right, guys. You can see my messy shop. I'm going to clean this place out really good right now before the rain comes in. Then I'm going to bring that back in with the nose forward and do some completion work on the hood, hopefully with the parts I get from the junkyard tomorrow. Out from Rusty Rhode Island. 